This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hat. on folks it is youtube's best kept secret the leader of the wolf pack himself k spade the prospect i am back today with a new pro-am video because i drop these things every single day today's video is a good one now if you guys caught the last one you saw that i had to face a lockdown defender that dude kind of had me in my bag i struggled a little bit now i didn't play horrible but to me for the high standards that I hold myself to, I didn't really play as well as I felt like I should have played. Now we got saved in that gameplay because Rap just was out of his mind. They could not stop Rap. They couldn't do anything to him. He just did whatever he wanted to do in that game and he torched them to the tune of 40 plus points. Now we back out here in this gameplay right here. You can look at the you can look at the lineup. You can see what we're doing out here and you can tell that these games are kind of falling one behind the next. And I don't know what was going on, but my play, it kind of carried over into this game right here. To me, I didn't play like the me that I want to play like in this game. But luckily for me, this is not a 1v1 game, man. This is a team game. And if the team works the way it's supposed to work, a team don't mean you got no weaknesses. It means that as a team, you kind of disguise those weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? You hide them a little bit. So hopefully that's what we're going to be able to do today and get ourselves a dub. Shaq's still out here in them damn boots, you know? Shaq liked them boots, man. You know, he liked them boots. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Wait, before we do, let me ask you guys a question. Because somebody was asking me the other day, wait, hold on, you already know what this is right here. You see me pulling, you see that Irish Spring Green on my shot me, the hashtag soap bar. When that meter green like that, it's because the jumper clean like that. That's why. But anyway, somebody was asking me, why did I upload a loss the other day? And I'm like, man, you know, I upload them daily. I show some wins. I show some losses. I like to show variety. Uh, you know, I want to show you guys some of the things that we couldn't defeat. Maybe you guys can come give me some feedback and be like, Spade, you guys should have did this, this, and this. Or maybe even me uploading it uh, opened my eyes to what I felt like we should have done. But I want to take a poll from you guys. Do you want to see more, you know, wins than losses? Or, or somebody asked, why don't I score a lot in these games? I got games where I go to hell off. I got games where somebody else go to hell off. And I like to highlight everybody on the team. So I want to poll y'all right quick. Do you want to see more wins than losses? Do you want to see more gameplays, you know, kind of featured on me? Or, or do you like the variety? Let me know. It's up to y'all, man, because, you know. Even though I enjoy doing this, I want y'all to enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy playing it and uploading it. But anyway, y'all let me know. Just hit the comment section. In the meantime, let's get back to it. I got a great look in the corner right there. That's a shot I got to make in the corner too. I got to make that. But I already warned you guys. I kind of struggled a little bit in this game. And you can tell, man, if you're looking at the game right here, it's somewhat, somewhat shocking to me. Now, I'm not saying this team not good, but if you're looking at their record somewhat shocking to me how this game started out i expected us to come out here and put a boot in their chest you know pun intended Shaq. Shaq, i expected you to kick somebody in their chest man like kareem abdul jabbar kicked bruce lee i'm over y'all head with that or nah let me know anyway second quarter action man super competitive game i'm in the zone doing what i do i look like ed reed out there give me that usually great defense leads to easy offense we kind of got some communication issues right there i don't know if y'all saw it i thought me and rap was about to execute the wrap around i tried to run around him he was going the same direction as me i went but it was just crazy like i don't know the chemistry just wasn't there on that particular play not only do we not get points off of our possession we turn around and get these guys a three-point bucket that's surely not what we was hoping to do now this second quarter thing man in the last video second quarter we was kind of in a scoring rut looks like he, he wilding i was about to say if he make that he wilding but it looked like that whole second quarter thing might hunt us again right there how the hell did we not get that rebound we had the guys in place just couldn't get the board i don't know why and right here man they find a little hole in our zone they attack it we got it we got to get a timeout. like what is going on out here you see i'm 50 percent at this particular point styles kind of started off not shooting so well so everybody on the team is kind of like struggling you know, not the major, but we struggling. Defensively, we struggling too. That's the zone we got to cover, man. We had that dude wide open on the wing. He made us pay. 
So we definitely got some things we got to work on. The good news is we're a second half team. Like, I don't know why. I hate it, but we are a second half team. So in the first half, man, we might take our lumps, but we'll be all right. I hope. Your boy over here thought he was going baseline. Defender did a great job of hedging right there, making sure I couldn't go the way I wanted to go. We still got a great look. It don't get no higher percentage than going to the rack for a dunk. This is just that second quarter funk that we be in when nothing really goes right. Rap had a great drive to the basket. Couldn't get it to go. Of course, they would turn it into points. It's frustrating. But you remember what I say, right? This is stuff you can't control, y'all. This is that 2K stuff. When it happens, you just have to find a way to fight through it. Look at my floater. My floater didn't even go. Like, ain't nothing going there. We missing dunks, floaters, corner threes. Like, nothing is working. And on the flip side, man, these boys over here cashing. So after two quarters, man, we go into the half trailing these guys a bit. Their star player, the player that have has got 13 points. If I'm not mistaken, the dude has only missed a shot. Maybe, who, who the hell was it? The PG? Yeah, he's only missed one shot. Oh, that 100% was messing with my head. He's shooting 100% from beyond the arc. Good news is second half, man. This is what we usually turn up. I like how we starting this thing off, Styles. I like how we starting this off. Styles goes to the rack, booms on somebody, gets hacked. Goes to the charity strike for a chance at another one. Ref, you gonna give him the... No Alright, I'm wondering. The ref be holding on to the ball like, this is my moment to shine. I'm gonna get all the camera time I can get, man. If you don't pass that damn ball, wrong with you. So here we go, man. We have cut the deficit to single digits. It's only an eight-point game right here. Great defense on that shot or so I thought. My man just out here cashing. Pull that three confidently. And I think he stared my boy down on the way back down the court too. He's feeling himself. Feeling himself. Offensively, we better get right. Now, I think defensively, we'll be okay. We have definitely gotten better in this. Only get your boy right here. Knowing the defense with Chase Rainmaker, boy. I respect green on that shot. Me the hashtag so far. Now I'm doing exactly what they need me to do. I got to do a whole lot more of it, but I like that. That's a start in the right direction. Look at Beast down there getting fancy. Nice little pirouette. I see you down there, Beast. I see you, homie. Now we back. We don't cut into the deficit, man. Two threes and we back like cook crack. All we got to do is stay on the gas pedal. A lot of times when we feel like we back, we say, okay, you know, now we might try alley oop, but just something just crazy. If we stay on it, stay on the fundamentals, we should be straight. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, we clearly have gone to man defense, and I definitely think it helped us get back in the game. Derek, boy, except on that last play where I got the pick. Check us out, though. We're pushing the tempo a little bit, right? Not really a fast break, but definitely aggressively pushing. Styles with that puller, I like when Styles pulls that right there. When he pulls it confidently. I've seen him pull it, and I'd be like, oh, that's going in. Like, you, you can just tell. There's times where he pull it, like, because he's forced to take it. He don't seem to have as high of a success rate when he takes it out of necessity. This right here is crazy. They must don't know about rap. They gave rap the wing. The way I like the corner, I think rap like the wing like that. Matter of fact, I know rap like the wing. Rap, Zilla, and Scythe. Now, I don't really want to put this in these streets because I'm going to end up running into some of y'all pro-am dudes and y'all going to know that. But Zilla, Rap, and Scythe, they love that wing three. And I'll take that wing three, but I love the corner three. So it works out good for our spacing. You usually going to see me in the corner. That's where I like to be. And you're going to see those other guys on the wing. And you can't leave them. Like, you can't leave them. They'll catch that. They want that. Like, they want a layup or a dunk. This is me on the wing. I ain't getting no Irish spring green, but I still got some rain out there. We back now. One point game. You see us inbounding the ball. I'm glowed up. I see the diesel going to the rack. He can't even finish the dunk. 2K, come on, y'all. Help us out. Shaq, I'm going to tell you it's them boots, man. You had some Jordans on. You could have got about another inch on your burp. You would have finished that guy. It's them heavy-ass boots, man. You couldn't get up high enough. But in all seriousness, we don't want this team to pull back off. We work hard in this third quarter to get back in this game. You know, we feel like we got them on their heels. You don't want them to escape. You don't want them to get out of this right here. We almost got them locked in the arm bar. 34 seconds remaining in the third quarter. I know they're going to come down here, try to get the two for one. I'm expecting a quick take. I wasn't expecting the man to pull right there, though. Shaq did a great job of getting out there. They kind of got us chasing. They end up getting the corner three. I think it's at this point right here that we decide to scrap the 2-3 zone. We going back to, no, I'm lying. We scrapped the man. We going back to the 2-3 zone. Look at this right here though. Styles, look at Styles. Bang, bang, chicken wing. Styles pulled that. I was so ready to go off on Styles. He ended up making it cash though. I was like, man, Styles, if you had missed that, man, 
I was going to make a video the next day saying we need a PG. We recruiting a PG. Nah, I'm just playing. Anyway, tie game here in the fourth quarter. I told you guys that we went back to the zone, right? And was I early? Oh, damn, I'm wilding. I'm looking at the clock. I got it all messed up. That was around the two-minute mark when we went back to the zone. Never mind. Just disregard that whole thing I was saying about we went back to the zone. Because we have it. We still in man. Or something like it anyway. I leave Mike. I don't, I don't know if I thought I was passing him off right there. I don't know what I was doing. But that's part of the reason why we decided to go back to the zone. You don't want to necessarily fight through those picks. I got a pick dodger, but I don't feel like I can get through them. So a lot of times, I want to pass my guy off. But if that communication isn't there, you end up giving somebody a wide open shot. And uh, yeah, that ain't the move, all right? You see my guy doing a great job of moving without the rock. I'm kind of getting cooked up, all right? That's what I'm nicely telling y'all. I'm getting cooked up. We got to get up out of this. Man, we got to go back to zone. Offensively, though, I think we're going to be okay. Rap stepping in right here. I wanted that initial pass to come back to me, but I'll take that too. I see you. Elbow jumper right there for Styles. He's going to catch that. Are we in zone yet? I'm, I'm about to get on my own nerves with this right here. I don't know what we in, but we leave this guy wide open. Okay, and I know I'm serious now. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is where we go to zone. The reason why I know is because Shaq didn't hear us. We was like, Shaq, we in zone. We in zone. Shaq never got to his zone. We give up another wide open three. Man. I don't know what's going on. Like, we fought too hard in that third to get right here and goof it off. This is probably the point in the party when I'm losing some of the some of the comedy out my voice. Hold up, though. Fame maker in the corner, man. No Irish spring. No soap bar on it. But it still goes in. You know, a lot of times, I'm the cool head in the party. I know y'all find that hard to believe. Wait, I'll take a wing three, too, if I'm glowed up. Hold up, man. I prefer the corner, but I'm still the rainmaker. Come on. I'm usually the guy who keeps his head in the party. But when I feel like we pissing off a lead, which we was doing here, like we fought hard in that third quarter and we just was making some boneheaded mistakes. And I'm like, like, come on, y'all. I don't want to, you know, I ain't trying to lose this game. Like, I don't want that. I don't need that tonight. So now everybody's kind of serious. Everybody's ramped up, you know, spade unturned to the grumpy old guy. Now we ready to hoop. That's a nice play right there, homie. I can't even front. I like that. I like that. You got cute points and everything on it. Little spin move, dribble pull up. I like it. One point lead with a minute to go, man. This is the moment that I live for. I like these late game moments. I do. I'm weird like that. I'm stepping around the defense, throwing it over the styles and still moving. Kind of wanting to set myself up for the shot. Not saying my teammates are incapable, but your boy wants it. I'm pulling right here. You already know I got that shooter's roll. Stop jumping, Biggs. Stop jumping. It's going to fall. I got that shooter's roll. You already know. We got a one point lead. 15 seconds on the clock. They got probably the last possession of the game, but they was dribbling around too much. Way to get in their pocket. Styles with a huge steal. A game-winning steal. You don't see that too often. They end up having to foul us a couple of times, send us to the charity strike. We escape out of here with a three-point lead, and I shot under 50%. So like I told you guys, I finished with 19 points, but I did not shoot well at all. I shot a little bit better in the end of the game. You know, if you're going to have a bad game, you want to come up clutch at the end of it. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like. It doesn't take long. If you haven't done it yet, hit subscribe so you can watch these videos every single day. And remember the question, man. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know which way you guys prefer to get these videos. I'm out the next time, though, folks. Peace.